Before we talk about hypertension, we need to look at the normal circulation and normal blood pressure. Now, the circulation consists of a pump, the heart, which is pumping blood through a series of pipes, the arteries, delivering oxygen and nutrients to the tissues, such as the kidneys and the brain, and a second series of pipes, the veins, takes blood back to the heart and the lungs, completing the circulation. Now here we have a series of small arteries, red blood cells and white blood cells flowing through, and a critical layer of lining cells we call the endothelium, which separates the blood from the other aspects of the blood vessel wall. And importantly also are the muscle cells uh, in the wall of the artery giving the vessel its elasticity. Now when we measure blood pressure, we measure blood pressure in arteries and we measure two numbers. The higher number is the systolic pressure, which is the highest pressure generated when the heart contracts and the lower pressure or the diastolic pressure which is the residual pressure in the circulation at the end of cardiac contraction. Patients often ask us how does blood pressure harm you? Well here is a blood vessel and the crucial initial step is that high blood pressure imposes stresses and strains on this endothelial lining cell which becomes fractured and damaged as a consequence. Below the endothelium, the vessel lining, these yellow blobs, that's LDL cholesterol, that's the bad stuff. And that normally is whistling in and out of the endothelium if the cholesterol is low enough. But under certain circumstances, it gets trapped underneath. And as it does so, these big white and blue blobs, these are migrating white cells, come through the damaged lining and they take up... Now, the bad fat in your body is the abdominal fat, which we call the visceral fat, because the cells in this fat produce hormones and chemical substances that get into the bloodstream and cause damage to the blood vessel wall. They're shown as the green spheres here. The fatty deposits begin to grow and grow and eventually impinge upon the bloodstream. Now, in the initial stages, this fatty plaque is, is encased in a muscle layer which protects it. But at some stage, the cells begin to dissolve. They produce chemical substances that destroy the plaque. And the contents of the plaque are extruded into the bloodstream causing a clot and it is that clot which causes the eventual heart attack if it occurs in the coronary vessels uh, or stroke if it occurs in the brain. 